Hey, what's up, everyone? So, I'm going to just do a little quick update. I've been doing some work in the fish room. You can see some new stuff back there. But, yeah. So, just going to be a quick little update of the fish room. But I'll get close and show you everything I did. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this little video. I'm going to turn you around now. So, the first new thing is I took that 40 gallon breeder that I had, and right now it's just holding two of my small turtles smaller turtles. I have another small one too that's inside. But they're there for now. They were in that little kiddie pool that was right here, but it was leaking as you can see. You can see all that water. And so for now they're going to be in there. I set up that 55. It's got water. It's just holding water right now with the substrate down in there. Not too sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but got the water in there dechlorinating and getting ready. I'm going to uh, let it sit for a couple days and when I go to work on Tuesday I'm going to get me um, some supplies, get me a sponge filter, and get me uh, some more stuff like this. Those right there, so I can branch into my, my airline right here and run a filter into that one. Those are my two 10 gallons that are going to be a dirted all-natural tanks with a bunch of plants in it. As you see, there's dirt and sand cap, and I do have a couple plants in there already. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see one right there. One right there, and then this one's got a plant right there, right there. I'm gonna do these tanks very similar, but yet different. Like everything's gonna be planted in the same locations, but they're gonna be different plants. And then I'm gonna do similar fish, but different. If you kind of get what I'm get what I'm saying. Oh no, we'll see what I do with it. But those are those tanks. And of course, I, my Dovi tank, I got those still. And then this is another new tank. It's super cloudy right now because I guess I didn't rinse the, the, the um, gravel off as much as I thought. But I'm going to throw one of my extra hang on the back filters on there with a bunch of filter floss here in the next day or two and stir up the gravel, get all that out. Um, this tank, I think I'm going to put my Dorf Beischer in, and that's going to be his home by himself. It's a 29-gallon high. Still unsure, but I think that's what I want to do and let him just have his own space and then turn that into more Beischers and something else. The other Beischer is still doing very well. That's the new guy right there. The other guy's over there underneath the rock. You can see him there. There's the Dorf Oscar. He's the one I want to put in his own tank. But you can kind of see the new guy down. No, wait, no. no he's behind the sponge filter now. But yeah, that's a little update on the uh, fish room. Gonna have got all that going on on that wall. Now got all that going down got a question for you guys though I was going to put grow out a Fajaka puffer in here and as of right now it's bare bottom but after buying all, all my supplies for these tanks I still have half a bucket of sand should I just go ahead and dump that in there or what I know puffers like sand and stuff because they like to burrow themselves but then again this is just going to be a grow out tank for a while you know because Fajacas get really large, so they'll probably end up in like this here, you know, once the dovis get bigger. depends on what's going on. Because I have, I have tank space. I could also um, grow up, you know, the fog could go in here for a while. But, yeah, right now it's just dechlorinating. I threw some snail. I found one snail I put in there. I'm going to get some other snails from in the house and put in here just to help keep it cycled and keep it going. I like snails in my tanks. And, um, yeah. But that's a little update. I don't know what else to talk about or show you guys right now. Um, but mainly, those are all new. That wall. You know, now it's, it's getting there. And if you guys do notice, like, my tanks are on, like, rusty racks and stuff like that. They're all metal. They, they work well in some, most, some tanks are on floors. And a lot of used stuff because a lot, I, I did all this to, uh, to show that you could enjoy your hobby and not go broke doing it, doing it on a budget. 
you know, I don't make a whole lot of money. I work at a little local fish store, and um, I just like to support my hobby. Most of these tanks, as you guys know, I get for freebies or super cheap and fix them myself up. And most of all my tanks are ran on air. You got air pumps and air lines running from everywhere up there. That's a mess. Sorry I showed you guys that, but yeah. But yeah, that's why you see this these on the floor for now. I will eventually get stands and build them up. But yeah. Like my DYI black background. That way I can do that whole wall with tanks and it'll be a black background. See like on that? perfectly black background sitting there but i hope you guys enjoyed this little video like share and subscribe have a good day